Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're on Psalm chapter 30 this morning. And it says, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. For the anger of the Lord endureth for a moment. In His favor is life. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. And uh, just so much good there in Psalm chapter 30. Uh, but the thing I want to share with you this morning is often we want to avoid uh, the tragedies of life, and that's just not possible. Uh, for each one of us, there's going to be triumphs, there's going to be tragedies. But I see three or four thoughts here in uh, Psalm chapter 30. And first, I see uh, a commitment to God. And uh, boy, just uh, we've talked about this many times, but it is really come down to just trusting God with all your heart. Proverbs says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to thine own understanding, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he'll direct your paths. That's easy to memorize, it's easy to quote, hard to live. And uh, very hard when we look at that commitment, but uh, that commitment needs to be there. The world is watching us, they're witnessing our lives, and boy, uh, that strong commitment makes a difference when they see us going to church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. They see us going soul winning. They see us uh, committed to the activities of the church. And then we see uh, a call to praise that weeping endures for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Of course, Nehemiah chapter 8 says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. And uh, boy, we want to make sure that our strength does come from the Lord, and uh, He is the center of that. If we're our own strength, uh, boy, it's going to fail us, and eventually it's going to let us down. If, as you get older, as I get older, we can't do the things we used to do, and uh, boy, you, you recognize that. When we're younger, we think, man, I can just take the world on, and uh, all of us need to learn uh, the commitment to God, a call to praise. And David often, number three, put out a cry for help. It is nothing uh, wrong for any of us to take the time to cry out for help. Now, if we're complaining in bitterness, that's one thing. But if we're crying out in help, that is what the Lord wants to hear, and He will answer that cry for help. It may not be on our timetable. It may not be the way we think, but I'm glad his plans are better than my plans and his ways than my ways. And uh, boy, it, it just comes down to being able to say, God is in control. And last of all, that'll lead to us having a change of attitude. One thing you'll notice throughout the book of Psalms is David does complain to the Lord about circumstances he turns around and trusts the Lord, and then he realizes uh, God's in control and it changes his attitude. Uh, I've heard said that uh, attitude determines your altitude. In other words, if you have the right attitude, uh, there is no limit to what you can do for the Lord. If Satan can get you bitter, if he can get you angry, if he can get you fearful, if you have that wrong attitude, uh, boy, that, that attitude leads to the wrong affections, leads to the wrong actions, and before you know it, it leads to apathy, and you're just uh, doing what you're doing because you've always done it that way instead of the joy of the Lord being your strength. I hope this morning's been an encouragement, Psalm 30. Uh, definitely take some time, every prayer time. I've heard people say, well, if I pray for myself, I'm being selfish. No, you're not. You read through Psalms. David often prayed. He prayed about uh, a situation with King Saul. He prayed about a situation with Absalom. He prayed about his enemies, and he prayed about uh, his family. And boy, uh, we just need to pray about everything. But at the end of the day, our attitude needs to be, I'm going to do as Psalm 46 says, God is my refuge and I'm just going to trust Him. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.